I will tell you a story about upgrading my PC. So I had a PC which consisted of Asus P7P55D motherboard with Intel Core i5-760 CPU. I noticed that in some games my CPU was a bit too slow. I tried to overclock it, but still its performance was lower than I wanted it to be. That's why I decided to upgrade my CPU. After a short analysis of the CPU market, I found out that the fastest desktop CPUs for the 1156 socket are Intel Core i7-860, i7-870 and i7-880. They all have equal specifications, except one – CPU multiplier. For i7-860 it is 21, for i7-870 22 and for i7-880 23. If you are using these CPUs without any overclock, then i7-880 is the fastest one, but to be honest, the difference in performance between 880 and 870 is very small. If you are going to overclock CPU, then there is absolutely no difference in performance between these three CPUs. Nowadays, overclocking these old CPUs is a necessity, otherwise they cannot provide decent results. But the prices for these i7s are quite high, taking into account the fact that they are 10 years old. So I continued my search. Then I discovered that there are also server CPUs, which are almost exact copies of the aforementioned i7 CPUs. These are Intel Xeon X3460, X3470 and X3480. They all have 4 cores and 8 threads. While my i5-760 also has 4 cores, but only 4 threads. I figured out that the more threads your CPU have, the faster it operates. Well, to be honest, not every application and game can handle more than 4 threads, but many modern applications and games do. So additional 4 threads or so-called Intel hyperthreading or SMT implementation is a good thing. You will not want to miss it, believe me. There are also three cheaper Xeon models, X3430, 3440 and 3450. The first one has only four threads, no SMT, and there was no reason for me to replace my i5-760 with this one. As for the other two models, X3440 and X3450, they are very similar to the three more expensive Xeon models. But there is an important difference. The frequency of the North Bridge or memory controller bus of these two CPUs is substantially lower. I will explain it in detail later, but I personally think that this aspect does affect the performance of a PC based on one of these CPUs. So the North Bridge multiplier for these two CPUs is 16, while for three upper Xeon models it is 18. Also X3440 and X3450 have lower maximum RAM multiplier. It is 10, while for 3460 and other two models maximum RAM multiplier is 12. But this aspect isn't really important for those who are planning to overclock CPU. The third and last difference is CPU multiplier 19 for X3440, 20 for X3450. But as I mentioned earlier, this is also an important thing. So I decided to buy either of these three Xeon CPUs. The most popular one is X3470. It's easier to find it on the market, so I bought it. But if you are going to overclock your CPU, then you should just choose the cheapest one. Usually it's X3460. While X3480 is the most expensive and really doesn't justify its high price. All three of these CPUs offer the same level of performance if we are talking about overclocked system. I wouldn't recommend buying X3440 or X3450. 1156 socket is already weak by nowadays standards. You will not want to lose any degree of performance. And the difference in prices, say, between X3440 and X3470 is totally justified in my opinion, as higher North Bridge frequency will provide you up to 10% higher frame rates in quite a few games. So the cheapest and most powerful CPU for 1156 socket is Xeon X3460. X3470 is a bit more expensive, but is also more popular and easier to find. I wouldn't recommend considering X3480 or any of the i7 CPUs for this socket. 
They are just too expensive and simply do not justify such high prices. X3430 and i5 CPUs are very cheap, but slower than X3440 due to the lack of SMT. SMT can provide you up to 25% higher frame rates in modern games. So it definitely doesn't worth to save a dozen dollars and buy these 4 thread CPUs. Take a note that I discussed only 4 core Linfield CPUs. I'm not talking about 2 core i3 and any of Clarkdale CPUs as they are way too weak for modern gaming. So if you are the owner of high-end 1156 motherboard based on Intel P55 chipset and any of i3, i5 CPUs, then by replacing your CPU with X3460 you can gain up to 25-50% performance boost, not counting overclocking impact, of course. With lower-end motherboards based on Intel H55 chipset, you will probably get a bit less impressive performance due to the fact that some of these models do not have an ability to regulate North Bridge or so-called IMC voltage. And of course, these cheaper motherboards have less power phases and less or even no heat sinks. I hope this video was helpful. Next time I will make a video about overclocking X3470.